Hello everyone, are you ready for the Battle of New York? Because guess what? It's Battle of the New York season, that's right. Lotto Grind has begun now. Today's video, I'm going to be playing these three, four things right here, very quickly going through them. Wait, I think it's way more. One, two, three, four? Yeah, it's four. I already did this one because it was basically nothing. Alright, let's get into it. Hope you liked today's video. If you do, remember to leave a like. Comment, tell me how you're doing, tell me how your team's doing. So I've already pre-set up a lot of the teams here. For this one, this note is specifically all assassin. Um, so this is the way I'm gonna go in here. Um, my Ardash is... Ooh. Damn. And hell, there's a reference to the song Poison. <laughs> um... Anyway, um, my Ardash is uh, Bond 10, so I only ever bring him out for when I need him badly. And to, in order to make this go as fast as possible, and because I don't have a lot of grind CEs, um, it allows me to make a team that does basically this. So this should be pretty simple for this one. He comes in, blows up the stage, and if you don't know what the combo with, with uh, Ardash here, it's Stella, turn 1. Mine does a lot of damage because he's gold, but you don't need yours to be gold to do to take care of uh, the first round. It's not a problem. Now here for this one, this is the first time I think I'll be using uh, my girl Sherazade here. I got her strengthening up and everything. Let me see right here. Yeah. Um, I have other AoE um, caster types, but the reason I'm using her... And I hope that she's able to kill these, because um, I'm not 100% confident in how she does against non-kings. Um, but against actual kings, she has a bonus, and the last two units in this uh, fight are kings. Well, queens, technically, but the game just has the trait king, so they treat all... If you're of royalty of some kind, you are king. Uh, anything in Sherazade's mind that sees as king, she treats as king. So there we go, torture Rubuki. Okay, I'm gonna do this to increase our arts cards. Unfortunately, she has like no effect against women. It's uh, <laughs> fighting women is not her specialty. Fighting men, that'd be better, but. I could have also gotten some more damage if I had actually brought, um, ah, damn, I didn't think about that. If I had brought a Mystic Code that buffed arts, which I'll probably do when I'm actually grinding this. For right now, I just wanted to do a video. Going in. Sherazade should be able to take out both. Um, I'm not sure if she'll actually be able to kill both of them, though. No, she's killing both. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're dead. <laughs> I forgot against kings, there is no one better than Sherazade just completely cleaning up shop. This is also super early on, so here he goes. The only grind CDs I do have are. Um, the one for fries, and I was able to pull the the hot dog one, the um, the Amazonas. Uh, I've had, so I have that. That should help a little bit. There's no way in hell I'm gonna get the five star C to help with um, grinding the other thing, but it's fine. I don't really care. All right, so that's that. That's that one done. That's the garden. Sherzade, I feel like I had pretty confidence going in there that she'd be pretty good in there, and now I'm justified. Also, we only got like four days to do these. So if you want to get a specific um, grind material out of something, if you want to basically do grind material um, while you're also farming this, it helps a whole bunch. So let's see, I think I actually have to go in. Let me see, for this one, I don't remember what I set up for it. Let me see, okay. I set it up this because I don't have a lot of units to deal with. I, I don't like this matchup where it's like this. I don't have a lot of good units of either one, so. Yeah, this is the way it's gonna go. Oh wait, let me just check. Okay, yeah, that's literally all I have here. The back team doesn't really matter. Um, all the dudes in the back are just there for bond points. That's a nice intro. Good song too. I don't listen to Fate with Fake uh, Grand Order with music on, mainly because I play in public. Um, I don't want to have to explain to my uncle and his roommate why these loud Japanese sounds are coming out of my phone. So I don't really play with sound, so I only really get to experience the sound of the game when I'm here. When I'm recording a video. This is the classic combo, everyone knows this. Oh, the classic combo, but I think I forgot to put on the wrong Mystic Code. Okay, no, this Mystic Code can work. 
So yeah, you do this. R, R. Now the reason I use this one on this note, but not the previous one, is because this one has a uh, three and two slots. So Scotty farming is not as good when there are only two units in one spot. So the previous note wouldn't have been very good. Not that there are any AOE casters with quick, um, but if you wanted to use Lancelot, for example, it wouldn't be as good just because uh, there's some unknown ability with the with the one portion of it. Ooh, this is actually kind of a pain in the butt because I'm not sure if he's able to. But that actually worked out perfectly fine. Never mind. Now he should be able to take out the Freedom Flame. He's gonna get like no MP gain from this though because he's just not gonna be able to deal enough damage to kill her quick enough to get overkill hits. I think. But let me just see. Yeah, he should be able to kill her. No, it's not the problem. The problem is getting overkill. Wow, he actually did extremely well. Never mind. What the hell do I know? And here we have these two do No, not douches. They're fine. They're perfectly good, good dudes. They love moms, so who doesn't? I mean, who among us doesn't love mo mothers? Anyway, let's beat the crap out of them. Well, oh, I just realized Lancelot's gonna beat up Lancelot. That's funny. I did not plan that. And down they go. Bye bye. Oh, bye bye. Alright. Next fight. Burgers and hot dogs in this one. That's fine. The one thing I, I, the reason I also have to hurry up and do a lot of things is that there's a lot of things I have to do. One, I have to get a lot of more um, of the three CE, which the way I do that is by going into the friend point summons and summoning like crazy. All right, let's see. For this one, ooh, I, I, I like this one because this one doesn't matter what I use. First of all, let me see what's the best CE for this one. Okay, it's the burger one, so I have to find someone who has the gill one. That works. Oh, well, let me see if I can find a better one. Yeah, by better one, I mean one with plus two. I'm, I, hey man, I'm, I'm doing my best here. I don't have a maximum limit broken anything. I need help. All right, that works. Doesn't matter what skill they have, because this is what their main purpose is. They're in. Yes, I, mm, just to be sure. I need, yeah, that, yeah, that will work. That will work. Um. So, ah, oh, you know, would have been a better one. Damn it. It's fine. The Mystic Code, I'm not 100% sure. It's either this one or I actually prefer having the Harry Potter one just because it gives you the ability to um, swap out your hand if you don't like it. Actually, another thing about it, there was actually another thing I could have done. Damn it. Constantly changing the team. I'll figure it out. The best way that, uh, to keep yourself occupied while grinding is coming up with teams that you like to use. So that's kind of why I'm using these units the way they are. Also, the CEs they have are, as you can see, 50%, but she has level 10 here. Not using that right away, though. Okay, let's see. Not the greatest starting. Oh, I just realized that also Arash kills himself, so that completely jumbles the deck as well. So it doesn't matter what happens in the first turn. There goes the Stella doing Stella things. He dies. If he dies, he dies. All right, again, you don't matter, um, friend Scotty, but welcome to the team. I just realized I picked the wrong CE, like a dumbass. No, okay, I picked the right one. Uh, this is probably the most unsure part of the fight because sometimes Drake kills and sometimes Drake does not kill. I think with a full buster, she should be able to kill the Spanx, no problem. If she doesn't, I'm gonna have to do a complete reset. Man, it's time. Got him. Okay, yeah, it's perfect. Sara, Sara. Kick his ass. Beat his ass. Beat his ass. I picked the wrong C. God damn it. I was thinking I picked the completely wrong Mystic Code. God damn it. I didn't realize it till just now. Oh, wait, no. Scotty friend saves it. It's 
I even saved my ass. That's still very bad. Uh, we're not going to be able to kill. That's actually the worst hand I could have possibly gotten in with this group of people. So she's going to be able to completely kill Pro Gamer over here. That's not the issue. The issue is that I'm not sure that Filthy Casual is going to be able to... <sighs> That's a shame. Because Quetz with three cards can easily kill these dudes, not no issue. But she needs cards. What I'm going to do is I'm probably going to replace Arash with um, BB. Because BB has a, a, the ability to lock cards in. Uh, just to keep this consistent and do the team the way I want to do it. I, can, I have no choice but to let him do his dumb moves. Ooh, that's a good idea. Okay. He should be dead. There's no way in hell that this guy survives. Yeah, no way. It's Quetz. My Quetz is like level 100, 2000 foe. No way in hell he was surviving that matchup at all. Alright, good job, good job. Good job, team, good job. Ooh, burger. I like burger. I should also remember to put on uh, a Bond CE as well. May as well, I'm, I'm using units that aren't even in the background. Just to help grind some Bond points while I'm grinding everything. Again, trying to make use of all the buffalo. And here's the final one. This one's super easy, I think. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. This one is only... Uh, Grindy, grindy, so this should be fine. And I think if I remember correctly, this is another one where it's three people. Let me double check. Yeah, it is. I remember thinking this one was kind of annoying too, but it's because I see their level, I'm like, that's a high level, they're like in the 50s. And then I look at their actual unit, and it's like, oh, they're not actually that strong. I may be over-prepared a bit. I doff protest too much. All right, let's do it. Commit time. You got it, you got it, buddy. So yeah, this is getting pretty close to the wrap-up of the video. There's not really much after this. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing some crazy stuff, trying to get everything ready. I have to get the grind CEs, I need to get the damage boosting CEs because the first challenge quest is tomorrow. Um, I'll probably start doing some challenge quests just to be like, how many can I, these can I actually do? Because the answer is none. I don't think th these quests are maybe some of the most annoying in the game. So I doubt that I'd be able to do them. Uh, hmm. I didn't realize that it would be, there'd be a big ass dragon. Well, I hope the dragon actually survives this so then I can do a chain which will help me out a bit. Come on, dragon. Don't die to this. I believe in you, Dragon. You can survive. I think you just barely survived. Yeah. Nice. I would have been able to do it regardless. Stupid Dragon. Ooh. And I should have a perfect setup here. Yeah, I think so. Well, anyway. That's the end of today's video, everyone. For Fate, anyway. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you liked it. As always, you can leave a like, comment, tell me how you doing on the progress of Nero, uh, not Nero Fest, Kill Fest as it is. Um, happy grinding and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out! Damn it!